My dearest Margaret, I hope that you are well. Some say I may be crazy for partaking in this dangerous expedition, but they don't understand it makes me happy. The strangest thing happened to us, and I can hardly bear to write it. Last Monday our ship was nearly surrounded by ice, scarcely leaving enough room to sail through. Our situation somewhat risky, especially since we were amidst thick fog. We had planned to stay there, hoping that the weather would improve. After the mist cleared, we came across a strange sight. A hideous being darted across the snow, and not far behind him was a man who seemed to be chasing after him. After rescuing the man from the breaking ice, he began to tell his astounding story. Wow, look at all those boats. Would you like to hear my story? Well, I'm by birth a Genovese. Growing up, I was very close to my family, especially my cousin Elizabeth. Now that I think about it, my dad was like really obsessed with the idea of the two of us getting married. Is that weird? Never mind. Anyway, my mother passed away, and something in me truly changed. I was no longer the same person I used to be. But despite the tragic loss, I had to get on with my life. My father urged me to go to college. I went to the University of Ingolstadt, where two professors changed my life forever. Natural philosophy and chemistry became my sole passion. The lessons I learned from my chemistry teacher sparked my interest in science, and before long, I was obsessed with the field. But when my philosophy professor dismissed my extensive knowledge of alchemy, I became aggravated and was determined to prove him wrong. In his haste to prove himself, Victor began to create a monster that would in turn ruin the rest of his life. I'm just so sad about my mother's death. Maybe if I collect these dead body parts in the hopes of creating life, the void in my heart will somehow be filled. Sounds like a good idea. This beautiful black, lustrous, flowing hair goes great with black, straight lips. For months, Henry continued to take care of Frankenstein. Here, Victor, take some medicine. Thank you. I got a letter from Elizabeth. Thank you. She misses me and wants me to come home. William has been murdered! After receiving a letter from Elizabeth, Victor miraculously recovered and set out on his trek home. He must be a 
responsible for William's death! Frankenstein's encounter with the monster confirmed his worst fears, and upon his arrival home, he immediately sought answers from his father. Father, I got your letter. Have there been any suspects? Yes, Justine. She's been convicted and sentenced to death. Oh no. I feel so terrible. I wanna know what love is. I want you to show me. That's nonsense, Victor. How could this possibly be your fault? My beautiful Elizabeth, it's so good to see you. But you have no idea what I'm going through. I think I need some time alone. Do you dare approach me? All men hate the wretched, but how must I be hated by you, my creator? Be calm. Just hear me out before you vent your hatred upon me. My life has been very hard. I am your creature regardless of how much you hate me. Be gone! I will not listen to you! We are enemies. What can I do to make you listen to me? Please listen to me, Frankenstein. Please. Never! Hear my story. It is the least you can do. I left your apartment and found myself an outcast wherever I went. People screamed in horror at the sight of me and beat me down in the streets. At that point, I realized it would be better for me to live a life in seclusion. Luckily, I learned how to find food for myself. And one day, I came across a hovel and decided it could be at least a safe place for me to dwell. Soon after I moved in, I realized that I wasn't as alone as I had originally thought. I discovered that four beautiful humans were living nearby, and I became infatuated with them and their existence. I observed and listened to them for, for months. And as a result, I gained the ability to speak and read. I fell in love with the beautiful Safi. She was the most wondrous person I had ever laid eyes on. One day, I mustered up all of my courage and finally went to meet my beloved friends. Since the father was blind, I thought my appearance would no longer matter. Our conversation was going well until Felix came inside and was taken aback by my detested form. Felix and the others beat me, and needless to say, my stay at the hovel was over. After I left, I saw a little boy trampling through the woods. I hoped that such a young person would not judge my appearance, but I was wrong. After learning he was a Frankenstein, I seized the opportunity to get revenge on you by killing him. From that day forward, I lingered in this area, sometimes wishing to see you others contemplating ending my life. I have a burnt passion which you alone can satisfy. We may not part until you comply with my request. I am alone and miserable. Man will not associate with me, but one who is as deformed and horrible as myself would not deny herself to me. You must create a female companion who is just as deformed as I am. If you do this for me, I promise you will never see me again. I don't know. Well, well maybe. I mean, it was a complete huge mistake creating you in the first place, but I, I, I guess, I guess I could make another female for you. Cool beans. But just remember, I'm an excellent, excellent stalker. And I'll be expecting my mate once you get back. After hearing the monster's story, Victor went to work creating a female companion.
dare to break your promise. I would so long for this. It's not fair. Be gone. I will break my promise and I will never create another monster like you. Well, just know. I'll be with you on your wedding night. After weeks of no contact with the monster and the unexpected event of Henry's death, the night of Victor and Elizabeth's wedding finally arrived. You're all I have now that William and Henry have been murdered. I'm so happy to finally have you. I am happy too, but Victor, I can tell that you're anxious. Is something troubling you? Nothing, my love. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. Go away from me in the room. night will be very dreadful. Ah! Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have left her alone. That piteous wretch! My poor sweet Elizabeth. No, no. As a result of Elizabeth's murder, something in Frankenstein, well, snapped. From this day forward, I vow to spend the rest of my life hunting the monster until our final encounter! For months, Victor chased the monster in crazed pursuit, hoping to attain revenge. It was a day that Victor's Frankenstein came aboard. We became very close friends as he told me his unbelievable story. But sadly, Victor fell very ill and to my extreme dismay, died. Several days later, upon returning to the room where his body lay, I beheld the creature that Victor had talked about. His gigantic stature stood over Victor's body, and as I entered, I overheard his mournful cries of sorrow. My creator has died. The only person in this wretched world whom I ever had a relationship with. And I, the hard monster, spent my life making his life miserable. Now that he's died and his suffering is over, there's no point in my existence at all. Farewell, Victor Frankenstein. I shall soon die, and my misery will end. Farewell! It was then that the creature sprung from the cabin window, and away lost in the darkness. from his slab began to rise <laughs> and suddenly to my surprise <laughs> he did the monster mash the monster mash it was a graveyard smash he did the mash on in a fight result i gained the ability to speak every I messed up. Yeah! Uh, it's pretty warm. They did 
Wait, no, you can't have a random coat on, no. Like a magical coat on your body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, I've been video. This is the making of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. <laughs> Hi, Kaido. Yeah. Hey. What's up? Frank, what up? I mean, we should go catch up. I don't know why, but we should. We totally should. That's to my apartment. Let's go. Come on. From this day forward, I vow to spend the rest of my life in my mustache. She was troubled by just one thing. Open the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania fist? Starring Liz Engelson. It's now the monster mash. It's now a graveyard smash. It's now the monster mash. Tell them Boris said. Then you can mash. Then you can mash. Then you can mash. Okay. And do my turn. graveyard smash. Then you can mash. Cool. Catch on with a flash. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash.